Hey what's up guys, welcome to the training reviews. So I've just received this new gimbal, it's the Zion Smooth 4. Now I'm going to give you a quick run through of all of the functionality that it comes with and I'm going to show you some clips of me taking some footage with my Samsung S10 using this gimbal. So let's take a look. When I saw you, I would lose control, made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Right, getting into it so it's slightly a different structure from the previous Zion gimbals that you may have noticed I won't go into more details about the different types of modes that this comes with because it comes in the same modes as any other electronic gimbal that Zion has made in the past although it displays it slightly differently so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through some of the buttons first and give you an overview of what they do and then we can just run into all of the other features and the video clips right so the first thing to notice is the uh, phone compartment here it is in a locked position, you can have it locked and tighten it as much as you like there with the little screw there. Now to unlock it, you just literally loosen up the lock and then you just pull it out. Like so. So now you can actually place your phone in there and then have it in a position where you're ready to turn on the gimbal. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I've got my phone in there, I'm going to power it on by holding down the power button here. it should adjust that and put it into the central neutral position. So one thing to know about the battery life, it does about eight hours of battery, so you can get a full day's worth of using the gimbal with your phone, and it charges very fast because it does come with a USB-C connection, which is awesome. There's also a charging port on the actual pan axis here at the top, it's a USB type B. You can connect that directly into your phone and charge your phone directly from the battery inside the gimbal, which is a very nice feature to have. So running through some of the features, so the first button here, you have the uh, PF and the L icons there at the bottom. So you have a uh, pan follow and locked modes. So obviously I won't be explaining more about the modes. You might be aware of them already, but I'll have a brief description in the description below about what all these modes do. So you can switch in between each of these and obviously they will lock them and unlock the different axes based on that. One thing to note you need to have is the ZY Play app. So the Zion one. You open it up and basically you can easily connect with your device using Bluetooth. Okay, so I've just connected the device via Bluetooth and it's opened up the ZY Play camera app. So this is what is gonna be used to control all of the buttons on the actual gimbal as well. So I suggest you use that. If you use your stock camera app, so for example, the Samsung one, then you won't be able to utilize the camera records, the picture button, the zoom, the flash and all this kind of stuff. So none of the buttons would work. So you need to be paired via Bluetooth with the ZY8 Play app and then you'll be able to utilize everything on the gimbal. So I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can download the app on the Google Play Store or the uh, App Store. So let's go ahead and look at some of these other features here. So of course you have the record button. When you press that, it will start recording video. You have the camera button to take pictures. And then you have this button here, which switches between utilizing the little slider on the left hand side either for the uh, zoom or the autofocus. So when I press this, it says change to AF, which is the autofocus. So let's say for example, let's say I have Spider-Man here. So you'll see that it's changing between the different autofocus lengths on that. And if I press that button here, the crosshatch one, change to WT, which is a wide and telephoto. So basically that's the zoom levels. Now I can control the zoom. As you can see there, with the slider, it's zooming into Spider-Man. So that's pretty cool. If you're really into taking video, then uh, this will be really good for you. Next, you have this uh, slider in the middle. So what this does is it basically controls the different things that are listed around it. So for, if I press uh, the right-hand side, this basically shows you the brightness levels, so I can bring the brightness up by sliding that, or bring it down. If I push the up button, it basically goes into the settings and you'll be able to change, for example, the resolution to 4K at 30 frames or 60 frames per second, or you can change different manual modes, scenes, settings, the timers, a bit about the camera and all this kind of stuff, so that's that. And then you can go back with the menu button, and then on the left side, the button basically reverses this to show you the selfie mode. So that basically utilizes the uh, front camera on your phone. Press the button in the middle, it turns the flash on, and I can see that the flash is there in my hand. So if I turn it off, you can see the flash is off. 
Then you have the display button to show the different ISO settings and the um, various other camera settings if you want to see them on screen or you press the display button to hide that and see full view uh, of the pictures. And then you also have the menu button to manually go in and change any of the settings like you've seen before. On the back of the uh, gimbal, you also have a couple of buttons here. So there's a button at the top and at the bottom. These are the different other modes that you get with the gimbal. So you have the top one is something called the phone go mode and the bottom one is the fast follow mode. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you can actually read up more about these. One thing to note as well, this doesn't have manual controls of the actual uh, tilt axis, pan axis and that kind of stuff. So you'll control with your movements of your hands, but if you wanted to tilt this in a specific mode, then you can do that manually and it's very smooth to do that. I just do it, tilt it upwards and downwards and it stays in that position and it's quite secure and it doesn't move around. So I think it's actually quite better to adjust it manually where sometimes when you're using a joystick to do that, then it might just get out of position very easily. You might go too far, um, but you won't be able to manually lock in uh, everything you like to do yourself. So it comes with this nice little tripod as well that you can just put anywhere or you can take this off if you don't want to. But then now you can just have a look and um, see some really good footage coming from this gimbal and it's very silent as well so you wouldn't hear any noise from the motor or anything like that. So that's the rough overview I wanted to give you of the Zion Smooth 4 so let's go and see and how smooth the footage actually is and take a look at some clips that I've taken recently. But the days pass and now it's so long ago. Alright guys, so that was about it. One thing I do like to mention as well, that it does come with the battery percentage of the gimbal on the top screen and also of your phone. So you can see how much you want to maybe share from the gimbal to your phone or just to see general the information uh, of how much usage time you have left of this. So that's really awesome. It's very lightweight. It's uh, made good material, strong plastic here, a bit of metal for the Zion logos. You have the uh, pretty cool Four smooth logo just there on the top on the axis if you do want to buy one of these I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can get it for a much cheaper price than Amazon so do check them out if you have any questions of anything you'd like me to review with this specifically then do let me know as well otherwise I hope you like that video I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys at the next one take care